Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to do a recipe that um, one of my subscribers told me about this morning with the spaghetti squash that I fixed yesterday. I'm kind of excited about it. I got the spaghetti squash out of the refrigerator, and it was right runny, and I really didn't want it like that, so I put it in my salad spinner and spun it around for a while. And now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, spaghetti squash and make lasagna out of it. So the first thing that I've done is I've got some extra virgin olive oil in the bottom of this pan. And I'm just going to put a little bit of sauce in the bottom of this pan. And this is my leftover, boy, I'm using this meatloaf. <laughs> this is my leftover meatloaf from the other day, and I added a can of tomato sauce, um, I mean of spaghetti sauce to it. So I'm putting some of that in the bottom, and then I'm going to put, let me get the bottom all covered, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Alright, so now I'm going to take some of the hope you can see this. I've got the sauce in the bottom. Now I'm going to take this spaghetti squash and I'm just going to get this in here just as if it was lasagna and I'm going to fix it like that. And it's turning in this bowl because I do have it in the salad spinner bowl. I hope you can see this. I hope this is going to be good because I really I'm really in the mood to eat some pasta. So this spaghetti squash has got to be what well, it was last night, just as good as the um, as regular spaghetti. So I'm hoping that it's going to be like that with this lasagna. I've got my oven preheated to 400. Alright, and now I'm going to put a layer of cottage cheese on here. And I'm trying to use up this cottage cheese, so, because the date on it's tomorrow, and I don't want to throw it away. I've still got another one in the fridge that I haven't opened yet. Alright, so I've got some of that. And then I've got just some Kraft Parmesan cheese that I'm going to sprinkle on top of that. And then I have some Monterey Jack cheese. And Kathy is... I've got some Monterey Jack cheese here that Kathy shaved up for me with my grater thing and I'm putting it on top of the cottage cheese and putting that on here and then I've got some Parmesan Reggiano that I'm going to put on here that she shaved up for me I love Parmesan Reggiano. may be expensive, but it's still good. All right. Now, see how I've done this? Now I'm going to put some more of the sauce in. This is only going to be a couple layers. Because this is going to be for lunch and dinner. Because here it is, 2 o'clock, and I haven't eaten lunch yet. Nor eaten anything since breakfast. So, And I know um, several people have already told me that I need to stop doing that. I just 
sometimes I get busy. Like this morning, I've been working on um, a basket of clothes that I had over here that had my some of my grandchildren's baby clothes in and my stuff and my other daughter's stuff. And I've been going through that and washing some of that stuff just so I can put it away. And <coughs> all right now. Here's another layer of the sauce. And then I'm going to put the rest of this in here. This spaghetti squash in here. And move this all around. Get it in here even as I can. Now I'm going to put some salt on top of this because this was kind of sweet last night and I really don't want it to be sweet. I kind of do want it to be a salty dish. Alright. Now I'm going to put the little bit, <laughs> just a little bit of this cottage cheese left in here. I'm just going to put it around, spread it around as much as I can. thick on the bottom so this is a while melt all right and now a little bit more well I'm gonna go in and put the rest of the Monterey Jack on here and I'll save the Parmesan Reggiano for the top Did I put any of this on this layer? I don't think I did. Alright, now I'm going to put another layer of the meat sauce and sauce on there. This has got to be good. It's got to be. Mm. It smells good. And it's definitely going to make a lot for lunch and dinner. Alright, now I'm going to put the rest of the Parmesan Reggiano on there. And then I'm going to put it in the oven and let all of this melt and come together. And I'll bring you back. Like I said, I've got my oven on 400. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But I will bring you back when it gets done and let you know. And I'll taste this and get to eat some. And I'll let you know what it tastes like. So, I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. This cooked for about 40 minutes in the oven. So, I've been letting it cool off for about 15, and I'm just going to get some out. looks pretty runny. It definitely ran over in my stove. Oh, it's going to run out everywhere. Not even, wow. The sauce is coming all out. Oh well. Let me get some of the sauce to put on here. It's mainly just the spaghetti squash. Alright. Let me 
you get a paper towel. <laughs> Alright, this is my lunch. I'll, I gotta get out my blood thing. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the, um, sp the spaghetti squash lasagna. I've let it cool off for a little bit. I'm going to take a bite. It looks and smells amazing. Wow, <laughs> I am so impressed with this. I am so impressed with this spaghetti squash. It is just like pasta. Just like pasta. So, if you like this recipe that Wayne gave me, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, 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 and Facebook, oh, Pinterest, and I will talk to you later. You have a good day. Bye.